part of the show. I'm like, we're going to see Martina now. I mean, she's a legend. We're going to see Martina on this show like for 10 seconds and we'll never see her again. Like, it still amazes me that she is part of this show. She was at a lot. I mean, for that's crazy to me. Did you grow up like a huge tennis fan? Like, do you have this appreciation of what an icon Martina is? I'm going to be completely honest with you. And Haiti, you see how here in America, it's like everybody's like football, football, football. And Haiti, it's football for us, except it's the version of soccer. Like it's soccer. So in Haiti, that's all we know. We breathe, eat, everything we do. I even wanted to play soccer. So I was never into tennis. So I'm going to tell you this right now. I know it's funny. I had no idea who Martina was. I cannot, I still cannot even say her last name. I had no idea. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't know who Martina was. But when I saw Julia, Julia was super nice. And then I met Martina. Martina was amazing. But I just didn't know who she was. And then now when I went and I was like, oh, okay, let me see who Martina. And I'm like, whoa, this is a big deal. But I didn't know. I did not know who she was. Like, I, I never heard of that name before until the show started. And I'm not lying. I'm just being honest. You can look at me like I'm being, um, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. Like, I know I'm going to be like, I can't believe she didn't know Martina. Listen, there's a lot of people in the world that I don't know. It's all depend what, some people may not know Naomi Campbell, but she's a fashion icon. But if you're not in the fashion industry, you're not going to really give a damn. So because I was not into this whole tennis industry, like, I don't know. I don't understand it. All I know is people just throwing balls and, you know, I, I don't get it. Um, I don't understand it. That doesn't mean that me not knowing who Martina was makes me a bad person. It's just like, it's not my field. It's not my industry, you know? So. Well, I don't know who these people are that don't know who Naomi Campbell is, but I do not want to <laughs> you know. Your I do not want to know them, okay? So let's just. Naomi Campbell was a, was a, uh, uh, an easy one. Everybody knows her, you know, she was, that was an easy example, but um, yeah. Did you know who Leah Black was from the first incarnation? Like, do you know Leah Yes, Black? I Is love it? Leah. You know, I love Leah. I watch her from, from the previous season. My son is here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. We'll wrap up in a few minutes anyway. He oh, can no, come no, say no. hi if he wants. It's up. No, no, no. That's actually not oh. my son. That's, that's the nanny coming back with the... Wow. You, you're going to edit all of that. So I'm so sorry. No, yeah. don't worry about it. What this was I fun. saying? fun isn't this I'm fun? Only, I get so nervous when I'm doing these things but you make it feel so you know I only want to do podcasts with you now listen first <laughs> of all you can come on here I've had listen I've had Gertie was here Alexia I've had it was a time that you came you know you'll have to come back once the new season comes on too and as of things course, develop of course. yeah when the when the drama start unfolding then I can explain myself we can do well actually we can do it in person because I'm going to be in Miami because I, I have a studio there so we'll do it and then in we person. can drink and it'll be more interesting we can drink before we can drink during we can drink after I love your cup I want one I'll send you one. It's, it's it the say? podcast. Oh, it wow. says behind the velvet rope. This is my logo. Why is my picture's not on there? I see a lot of fashion. Well, you know, we're going to have to add <laughs> your picture yet. here. It takes time. <laughs> um, What was I going to say? So you knew Leah Black from like the first, did you know her from like around town or because I know she makes an appearance. I, I did not know Leah Black personally, but I've been in events where I've seen her, but I, I don't know her. Like, I don't know her personal. Were you there when she, I mean, she has, apparently is in part of the new season. That's the rumor. Um, that's the rumor I heard too. Like, I don't know. Because remember, like a lot of the time we film and we don't know what's happening elsewhere. So I, I have, I, this is a rumor for me too, but that would be so fun. So, so it's, I'm excited if she's on for real. I think it's fun. You, you need an appearance. Hi. You need an appearance by Leah Black and Real Housewives of Miami. That's just, you just do, right? Yeah, I think I think she's amazing. And I'm sure her fans are waiting to see what she got to say and they want updates. So I'm happy. I'm happy that she's, she, if she is back, I'm happy. 
Have you heard from anyone? Like you said, you were a huge fan of Atlanta, like, you know, growing, like, or did you reach out to anyone now that you're in this Bravo universe? Like, have you heard from anyone in particular? Or did you, connect, you know, did you have like one of those moments of like, I can't believe I'm talking to this person or just in general? Um, no, not yet. What I realized with this franchise, like, even if somebody is on like a different state, they all, all of the ladies are so nice. Um, uh, uh, Lisa Barlow has yes. been amazing. We chat all the time. Um, Drew, Sim Drew, Drew is super nice. Chanel Ayn is super nice. Like I've not all of the ladies, but Nini, I've been following Nini forever. She doesn't follow back, but she, because she probably don't know me yet. But she's like an OG, you know. We look up, I, like I look up to this girl. Like, oh wow, um, Garcelle, Garcelle for me, Garcelle is like a whole role model. Like, not only she's from the same countries as me, but she set up this whole platform, and she's such a positive. Like, I've never heard anything bad about Garcelle. So this is someone that I, as a younger person who come from Haiti. I'm like looking up to her, like, oh, hey, I'm following her. Of course, she's not following back yet, but okay. Um, I like Garcelle and Mia, of course. I think Mia is amazing. I like Mia from Potomac. And Mia is great. And Garcelle really is kind of like a role model, right? She is from Haiti also. And she yeah. brings, you know, that. And so she's kind of like a role model. Yeah. So I, I see Garcelle as a role model. Like if Garcelle ever, I met Garcelle too. We were at a charity event in Miami. I met her and we took a picture together and we spoke Creole to each other. And, um, but I don't know her like that yet. So again, thanks take time. I'm sure one day I'll meet her and we'll be able to sit down and have a great conversation and talk about our past and Haiti in general. She is a good role model. Cause I agree. You never hear anything bad about Garcelle. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. She is like the top person that in the housewife franchise that I actually look up to. Yeah. Do you watch, and then we'll wrap up. Do you watch these other friends? Like, do you watch, did you watch this past season of Beverly Hills? Lisa Barlow, you say, are you watching like, you know, Mia Potomac is back. Salt Lake is on. Do you watch these? I mean, not that you need to, you're busy. Just curious. right. Um, yeah. I don't really watch much too much TV. Like even the Miami reunion, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so I need to like, go and watch it um but um no I do I started watching I started watching um Dubai but I couldn't finish it uh I watched part of Beverly Hills I couldn't finish it Potomac I started yesterday I hope I get to finish it I mean so far so good the first episode is like oh my god wow you know all these girls are like they bringing it um Atlanta, I started watching it too until like that trip to Jamaica. Then I just, I, I, I just, I don't, it's just, I don't have the time. Remember, I'm, not only I'm working, I have two kids and I have my mom I take care of. And I have to, like, I'm by myself. I have no husband. Like, I have to like provide. So I'm always going around. Listen, if I, I love all these shows, I watch them for work now myself. Like I don't watch and then I have to catch up when someone's coming on. So I get, it's a, it's a, it's a time commitment, right? Yeah. No, it's very, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. There's a lot of shows I want to watch, but just no time yet.